What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and I finally get to use my legal education, jargon, and know-how on a video. But before we begin, please, for the love of everything, realize I do not take any pleasure in what happened to this individual, whose name I will not mention, and I'm only reporting on this because of the backlash EA and subsequently Anthem has been receiving as a result. As many of you know, this past weekend we had the Anthem Closed Alpha, where testers would essentially be stress testing the game's servers, as well as reporting your occasional bug here and there. However, there was a non-disclosure agreement, also known as an NDA, attached to this deal, which basically stated that you were not allowed to stream, record, or take screenshots, or even discuss what you played outside of the designated forums, and so on. Now, for the most part, everyone understood what all this entailed. Miraculously, however, a few people managed to break their NDA, either intentionally or not, streaming and technically leaking alpha information. One such case was documented on Twitch, as a streamer played a fair bit of the closed alpha before being kicked to the alpha's connection screen and having his origin account wiped clean of all games, achievements, and so on. However, with EA not being many people's favorite or most trusted gaming company at the moment, many are taking aim at EA and calling them out. A few other gaming news channels have reported on what's been going on to this streamer, like Layman Gaming and Sid Alpha, amongst others. Most who have reported on what's been going on acknowledge that this streamer done goofed, and while some people believe this was an extreme measure, or at least poke fun at EA, I believe they were justified, and it was definitely within EA's rights. Keep in mind, I am not rushing to EA's defense, I'm just stating the legal facts of the situation, which allots EA to pursue whatever punishment they see fit. In Layman Gaming's video, they felt that the punishment was the wrong punishment, and would have rather that they sued the streamer as opposed to erasing their origin account for reasons detailed in their video. Personally, I believe that this was a mercy if anything. Losing your games in progress, no matter how much time, money, and investment you place into them is definitely preferable to enduring court. Especially with this streamer breaking his NDA, he would almost assuredly be rendered a guilty verdict and would see him paying who knows how much to EA for breaching his contract. I would definitely call this a merciful action and punishment. In Sid Alpha's video, he actually makes a very interesting point, showing that despite Origin being wiped clean of all games and achievements, the streamer doesn't have any icons or shortcuts to other Origin games on his desktop. He's got Overwatch, Destiny 2, and so on as his icons, but no EA or Origin games. This is a screenshot of my desktop with all of my icons from my various games that I play with my EA Origin titles displayed. Now, I am not a tech guru, but I don't think EA wiping the Origin account would wipe the icons from the desktop. It's possible the guy didn't have any icons on his desktop and is only doing this as Sid Alpha stated to drum up visibility through an easy to make misunderstanding through a direct misrepresentation of facts. In other words, he used a secondary account to get approved for the Alpha, get in, stream the game, and possibly make EA out to be the bad guys. Something else to point out is that his account on Origin doesn't share his YouTube or Twitch name, and while that isn't mandatory or even a requirement to do so, I'd say most people do it for consistency, like me. And while I disagree with Sid Alpha's view on Anthem and a somewhat misinformed view of EA's actual influence on Anthem, this is an excellent theory, and it isn't impossible. And while Sid Alpha may think that this action by EA is stupid by not only removing the streamer's access to the Alpha, but also wiping their library, I again think that this is just and once again well within EA's contractual rights to do so. Of course, this is all hinged on the fact if this actually happened to the streamer's main account as opposed to a secondary account and isn't quote, fake news. One of the arguments I've seen fairly consistently was along the lines of, the poor guy probably clicked through everything and just accepted everything, we all do it. While I could understand this and give the guy a minute modicum of understanding, EA also sent out emails reminding people of the NDA they signed and to again not stream, record, discuss, and by now you all get the point. Point. Within the full NDA, it was made known that contractual violators could be punished in any way EA saw fit, which could result in a ban, suing, or a slew of other things. Other popular statements have been spawned which have stated that EA is the devil and Anthem is hiding something. I'm really getting tired of hearing both, and especially the latter after this weekend. EA is pursuing their legal rights and doing what they see fit to keep their IP protected. I'm willing to bet the entire reason the Alpha was under an NDA was due to the incredibly negative and toxic backlash Anthem received after after the Paris Games Week stream and the most recent Fort Tarsus stream, not to mention the game is still in alpha. The team knew that there would be bugs and technical issues amongst other things, that they didn't need either misrepresented to the public or displayed altogether, as they are not indicative of how the game will look or perform at launch. At the end of the day, ultimately the streamer was in the wrong. I'm sorry that this happened to the streamer if this was indeed his main account and not some secondary one to see what EA would do if he streamed. But again, EA was legally in the right to pursue whatever course of 
of action they saw fit. The facts are, the streamer signed the NDA. The streamer broke his NDA. EA took action which was within their legal right, which was displayed in their contract in the first place. End of story. But what are your thoughts on EA's actions against the streamer? Were they justified or not? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, and if you are interested in more news and updates on your game, Anthem, feel free to subscribe. And as always, a monumental thank you to my patrons for their generous donations and support. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal week, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Onwards and upwards, freelancers. Excelsior.